Hey everybody, this is Ori from Master Web, and I wanted to share this really cool tool that we use inside our company to monitor websites to make sure they're alive, they're up, they're working successfully. So we call this uptime monitoring, okay? Um, so this tool, NodePing, uh, allows you for a very affordable price to just go um, and check your website every minute, every five minutes, every day, depending on the settings. And if there's an issue, you're gonna get an alert. That's exactly what it does. Very, very simple. This tool works well and we, we use it for years. So I wanna show you a little bit about it in the back end, how it looks and how you set up things, okay? So first of all, uh, I have here three sections right here. It's actually really two sections. So one is what am I checking? What am I checking? How, uh, what, which website, which URL, how often, what type of check? And if there's a problem, who do I alert? The second uh, part is contact. So who do you alert if there's an issue, right? Specific emails, specific phone numbers. And then the last one is contact groups. I can group contacts into certain elements. So let me show you uh, a walk around. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click on add a new check, okay? And I'm gonna uh, create a check. So for example, I wanna check my website. I wanna check Astro Web. And what type of check? I have a lot of different things. Uh, for us, so you have DNS and FTP and HTTP. For us, we only use the, the more popular ones, which are HTTP, basically making sure the website is online and checking SSL, checking that the HTTP, the SSL uh, certificate, HTTPS certificate is valid, it's not expiring, it works correctly. But you can do other things, for example, pings and pop, uh, your mail servers and your DNS, all that. I haven't done that, so I'm just going to focus on the HTTP, but it's really, really Im simple. So if I click on HTTP I, and I enable it, I can check the frequency. How often do I want to check? For example, every minute, and I'm going to plug in my URL. Okay, so for example, I want to check, let's say, the homepage. I'm going to click here, and I go here, and I'm going to put in, okay, right here. Okay, AstroWeb, I'm going to call this test. Okay, and I can also do things. So if the page redirects to another page, do I want it to follow or no? In this case, I don't want to follow the next page. Timeout, so if the, the, the website, that specific page, doesn't respond within five seconds, it's considered a fail. If it does fail, how many times to recheck, right? This is really important. And then if there's an issue, who do I notify? So I notify, I have all of these things, right? I have emails, I have web hooks, I can alert a certain other URL that triggers some other code, and I have SMS, send something to a specific phone number, okay? So for example, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna alert, uh, let's say, myself, okay? And I'm gonna click on save. When I click on save, that mail is actually being, th that's it, my check is already starting, right? So if I go here, Astro Web, here it is. And I can go here and I can take a look at it and I'll have the, the quick summary if I clicked here, be able to see the last test, if they were successful, if they passed or they failed, what happened, what's the frequency, I can see a summary here and I can always edit it right here, okay? So let's go here, let's refresh the page for a minute, okay? And let's let's see if it checked already. It's gonna do it every one minute, so let's, let's jump to another section and we'll come back, right? So it's gonna test within a few, maybe another 30 seconds, okay? The second thing you have here is contacts. You can add contacts right here, and you can add contacts based on these things, right? So email, if there's an alert, send an email to someone, Okay, SMS, send this SMS message to someone's, text message to someone's phone. A webhook, send a certain alert to a certain URL, which that URL will do some kind of action. So you have to put your own code or something. And then there's some other popular services, for, exam for example, Slack, it'll send a message and PagerDuty, et cetera. So these are the types. Um, and then the access would be, do I wanna get notifications only? Can I view things in the back end? Can I edit things or am I the owner of the account? Really simple. And the last part is contact groups. If I have a project that needs to alert multiple people, when I set up a check, for example, right here, you see, by the way, it passed. So that means the website is up. When I set up a check, I can alert multiple people. For example, Ori, I wanna send a, a text message, etc. So instead of selecting multiple, multiple right here, I can just select a group. I can select a group, and that, gr that group will just add automatically the whole thing, right? So, for example, let's go right here, right here, okay? So, I'll just add the whole group, and then whatever's in the group, that'll append. It's basically a way to simplify your work. Very simple, okay? 
So uh, let me give you one or two more examples, and that's it. It's a really nice tool. It's great. Um, I have the link. You can use it. Uh, up to you guys, but uh, we, we love it. It works really well, okay? So what else can you do for checks? This is a really nice thing. Um, let's just say we check the same Masterweb homepage, for example, and we type in a, a HTTP content. Okay, this is a really nice one that, that I use a lot. So what is content? So aside from just checking that the page loaded, I got a 200 status code, which means the web server gave me some kind of page. I can also check that a certain term or a certain words appear. For example, if I know, if I want to check that the page loaded correctly, I can verify that this specific word appeared, right? Or this specific thing appeared. So I can go here and I can type in, I must have inside the content of the page this term, okay? Obviously, I need to check this page, okay? And, and then I can do the same thing. Who do I alert if there's an issue, etc. So if this, if this, um, string if this word appears or for example does not appear then i'm going to send the alert right so you can do more uh, you know cooler things here okay let me show you another example you can do for example the type of check is ssl and i'm going to check for example that my certificate is expiring or is, is still valid so i'm going to put it right here and I can check. And so another thing I can do here is sometimes for SSL certificate, you don't want, it's in, in particular for SSL certificate, you don't want to get an alert the day that it expires. So what you can do is you can set up an, a number of days that you want to get an alert before it expires. So for example, uh, if it's a, a 30 days or less about to expire, I want to get an alert because I want to renew it on time, right? So I can do some cool things with this. So Every check has, has some unique things for it. Um, and that's it, it's, it's really simple. Um, it's a great tool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about specific things, how to set it up, uh, other recommendations, I'll be happy to answer. Let me know what you think. Um, and we'll be making many more videos. Appreciate it, guys. And uh, that's it, just la last thing, one, one more thing is about the alerts, sorry, almost forgot, is uh, when, a website is down, you're gonna get an email something like this, host down, the name of your check, and what type of check, for example, HTTP content or SSL, and it's gonna tell you exactly, it's down, what's the time frame, and when it goes back up, it'll say, okay, it's back up, and it was down for, for example, five minutes, okay? Thank you guys, appreciate it, take care.